আসসালামু আলাইকুম ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্টস এন্ড ভিউয়ার্স হাউ আর ইউ দিস ইজ আয়েশ আক্তার মণি অ্যাসিস্ট্যান্ট প্রফেসর ইংলিশ কুমিল্লা গভর্নমেন্ট উইমেন্স কলেজ কুমিল্লা টুডে আই এম হিয়ার টু কন্ডাক্ট এ ক্লাস অন দ্য ওয়েস্টল্যান্ড অফ টি এস এলিয়ট ফর দ্য স্টুডেন্টস অফ অনার্স ফোর্থ ইয়ার অফ দ্য ডিপার্টমেন্ট অফ ইংলিশ সো লেট আস স্টার্ট দ্য ক্লাস টি এস এলিয়ট ইজ এ ডাইনামিক পার্সোনালিটি হি ইজ এ মডার্ন পয়েট হি ইজ দ্য ওয়েস্টল্যান্ড ইজ কনসিডার্ড অ্যাজ দ্য as an epic of modern age in this poem he represents the spiritual sterility and barrenness of modern people this poem is divided into five sections number 1 the burial of the dead number 2 a game of chess number 3 the fire sermon number 4 death by water number 5 what the thunder said in the first section what the poet has said the burial of the dead we know the meaning of the word bury Actually, when any person dies, he is engraved, he is buried, he is put under earth. So this is called burial. Why the poem starts with this title of first section? Actually, we, the modern people, are spiritually dead. Our morality, our humanity, all is dead. So, the first section is named The Burial of the Dead. Number two, A Game of Chess. Here, the poet indicates the failure of sex relationship in the modern world. Nowadays, we find only physical relationship. there is no spiritual relationship so the society is devoid of morality number 3 the fire sermon in this section we find that the whole world is on fire everything is on fire the fire of hatred the fire of anger the fire of distress the fire of lamentation the fire of grief the fire of sorrow so we are not in peace we are burning we are burning on the fire of modern sterile world last burns up our life nowadays we see that a child an old woman all all types of lady become victim of sexual harassment so how much immoral we have become number 4 death by water we know water has a regenerative power it gives rebirth but here we find a businessman is drowned he died but he doesn't have the hope of salvation of his soul because he was totally busy with his earthly life he didn't do anything for the next world for the morality of human being so 
the sailor didn't have any chance of salvation of his soul and the last section what the thunder said in this section the poet represents the condition of indian subcontinent once there was hunger there was famine and at one time there was a thunder and it said da 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 what do these three words mean first da means datta to give we have to give others we have to follow the path of saints second da dad bhamo we have to sympathize we have to sympathize our fellow man we have to give up our ego we have to give up our ism we have to think for humanity for the betterment of the society and third da dam yata that means self control we should control ourselves discipline of the mind is essential for spiritual achievement if we do not have discipline in every respect of our life then we can't achieve the salvation of our soul we can't achieve spiritual peace okay now let us start with the first section this poem will take near about five classes to complete because we will go through the text thoroughly and i think that as a student of english literature if you do not go through the text you won't find any enjoyment any taste any flavor only summary can't give us the test of literature so please go through the text so let us start please open your book get ready with your pen and paper the burial of the dead the first section the burial i have discussed this word the burial to engrave to bury means to engrave the burial of the dead the poem starts with the line april is the cruelest month look dear students point it april is the season of mellow fruitfulness april is the season of flower but here the poem begins here here the poet begins his poem with the word cruelest cruelest april is the cruelest month to the modern people the month april is not welcomed modern people treat april as the month of cruelty because the modern people do not like any good thing any beauty breeding lilacs out of the dead land it brings out breed it produces breed produces lilacs one kind of flower out of the dead land not the word the dead land the modern world is called the dead land it is desert you know you can't grow green vegetation in a desert so in our modern time we can't nourish good ideas good morals so it is a dead land mixing memory and desire mixing memory memory of the past once the people had spiritual blessing but now they do not have this blessing so it is the memory and desire what is the desire the modern people desire only for physical enjoyment earthly pleasure so 
there is a mixture of memory and desire stirring dull roots with spring rain we know that the rain of spring helps to grow up green vegetation but here what you find dull roots the roots are dull the modern people have made the world dull by their immoral activities they are like fallow land they can't grow anything fruitful they can't grow anything good for the society winter kept us warm look at this line winter kept us warm we know winter is a cold season but the modern people feels very warm in winter season because this season is good for any type of enjoyment covering earth in forgetful snow it covers the earth with snow winter covers the earth with snow it covers our good thinking it covers our spiritual relationship with our creature it covers our humanity feeding a little life with dried tubers in winter we know that everything is dried up and here we find the life of dried tubers do you know the meaning of tuber it is one kind of timber which is grown under the earth for example potato summer surprised us coming over the stern barger sea with a shower of rain so what can we see here summer surprised us in summer we also find different juicy fruits but they are surprised by summer coming over the eastern border sea with a shower of rain we know the shower of rain in summer is very much very much desired we love the rain of summer but they are surprised and easter barger sea it is a lake near munich it is the name of a lake which stopped in the colonnade what is the meaning of colonnade colonnade is a row of trees a row of trees this is called colonnade we stopped in the colonnade and went on in sunlight look the modern people the representative of the modern people here a girl she doesn't like the rain and went on in sunlight into the hof garden what is hof garden it is a park in munich they went to the hof garden they do not like the rain water we know rain water can wash away dust dirts everything so the modern people doesn't want modern man doesn't want that their immoral activities should be blown away should be washed up by the rain water so they do not like the rain summer rain and drank coffee in the park they drank coffee and talked for an hour again enjoyment they drank coffee and talked for an hour bingar kane rashin stamas lituan est distaz actually this is not english it is a german sentence here it is said that the girl is not a russian she is from lithuania she is a german and when we were our children here the girl is saying that when they were children staying at the ark tiox my cousins he took me out on a sled my cousin he took me out on a sled so what is the meaning of sled it is one type of vehicle which you find 
uh, um, which we find uh, which can move over snow which can move over snow and normally it doesn't have any wheel okay slash so her cousin took her out on a sledge for entertainment and i was frightened you know the girl was very much frightened as the sledge moves very fast he said he means the cousin of mary he he said mary mary hold on tight her cousin said to hold him tight and down we went they went down they went down the mountain so mary was afraid in the mountains there you feel free her cousin says that in the mountains there they will be without any tension without any anxiety they will free relaxed i read much of the night and go south in the winter in the winter it is warm in the south so they go to the south come to the lesson next para what are the roads that clutch what are the roads that clutch so here we find clutch a tight grass what is the meaning of clutch a tight grasp paw what are the roots that clutch what branches grow out of this stony rubbish here the speaker is asking us can anything grow from this stony rubbish the modern world has become stone like it has become barren it has become very much dry and it is as dry as stone as hard as a stone and so the speaker is asking us can we grow anything in this type of stony rubbish so on of son of man you can't say or guess oh modern people you can't say you can't guess for you know only a heap of broken images why can't you understand why can't you guess because your belief your belief in the almighty is broken so whenever we do not have firm faith we do not get much courage we become very much afraid, afraid of moving forward where the sun beats and the dead tree gives no shelter in this forlorn land in this stony land the sun beats the sun hurts with scorching heat of summer and the dead tree gives no shelter we know that if the tree is dead it can't give us shelter it can't give us shade it can't gives us any type of fruit and vegetation so as our land is stony so we can't grow any tree and so the dead tree can't give us any shelter so we the modern people are very much helpless we become very much pessimistic because we do not have firm faith we are very much deviated from the right track the cricket no relief you know cricket is one kind of insect it can't give us relief and the dry stone no sound of water and when there is only stone and stone and dry stone no sound of water we can't be optimistic because when we are in desert or in a hill of stone and there is no sign of water we become very much pessimistic so we are now in such a condition only there is shadow under this red rock The poet says yes there is a shadow under the red rock and he invites us come in come in under the shadow of this red rock you should come under the shadow of this red rock 
what does the two words red rock mean red rock actually here it is used to indicate christian church he is inviting the christian people to come under the shadow of christian church actually when we remember our creator when we follow the path of religion only then our soul can get relief our soul can get peace and we become we can be successful so here the poet says come in under the shadow of this red rock and i will show you something different from either come you come and i will show you something different of course you will find something different from either your shadow at morning straying b- behind you or your shadow at evening rising to meet you so what do these four lines mean your shadow at morning in the morning when you face the sun our shadow our shadow appears behind us striding means appearing it appears behind us when we move to the sun so i will show you something different from either your shadow at morning striding behind you it means that in our childhood we have less crime and we have much enjoyment the full life is before us in front of us next or your shadow at evening when we are in old age this is called evening your shadow at evening rising to meet you in the evening we know the shadow comes before us it means death is waiting for us i will show you fear in a handful of dust and human life is nothing but a handful of dust when we die then we become a handful of dust so what is the difference between the shadow of the church and the shadow of a human being actually the shadow of the church is immortal if we come under the shadow of the church we become immortal our soul become immortal we can get bliss we can get peace we can get happiness but whenever we take rest under the shadow of a human being which is full of lust which is full of earthly gain which is full of selfishness then it gives us nothing it gives us only morality and after death we become a handful of dust okay uh, that's all for today uh, if you have any question you can ask me through messenger actually we do not have much knowledge on it we are trying our best to help you so stay at home pray for yourself pray for the whole world pray for our motherland be safe remain and stay at home don't go outside without much essential urgency without much urgency thank you very much allah hafiz